Hello everyone, I'm Melody, the concept art manager here at Stampin' Up. I've got a wonderful new product collection to share with you today, the Magnolia Blooms cards, which is featured on pages 8 and 9 of our Experience Creativity brochure. You'll notice at the top of the page, this collection is all about quick and easy coordination. Stampin' Up! is the industry leader in product coordination. Coordination makes creativity simpler. Our stamps, ink, and paper and accessories are designed to work together to create beautiful projects. We take the guesswork out of it, especially with the product collections featured in this brochure. Magnolia Blooms card collections includes the Magnolia Bloom stamp set, the Clear Block D, Mossy Meadow and Soft Suede ink spots, the Magnolia Lanes cards and more, and the Snail Adhesive. This collection provides materials to make 10 cards and here's some examples. You can purchase all of these items together with the one item number at the top of page nine, or you can pick and choose the items from the list. Let's talk about the stamp set. The stamp I'm using is in English, but it's also available in French and German. So no matter which market you're in, you can get the stamp set in your preferred language. This is a photopolymer stamp set. Photopolymer is the name of the material that's made that's used to make the stamps. To use the photopolymer stamps, lift the top acetate sheet and peel the stamp from the bottom piece or the bottom sheet and mount to your block. Your ink spots are miniature ink pads. Each side of the label is perforated to help open the ink pads. Remove the lid and apply the ink directly to the stamp. But before we do that, let's get our paper ready. The Magnolia Lane cards and more are pre-cut, pre-scored small note cards and envelopes and pre-printed double-sided designer cards. To create your card base, you're simply going to match up your corners and fold along the score line. I like my card bases to lay flat so I go along the edge of the fold with my clear block to help it lay flat. The pre-printed cards are what I will stamp on. The cards with the flowers printed on them are so lovely they simply need a stamp sentiment to feel finished. Like this one here. The cards with the basic patterns can be stamped with the flowers and the sentiments from the set. To create this card I stamped congratulations first to help with the spacing of the flower images. The lines on the card also help me make sure that my sentiment is straight. When stamping the flowers for this card, I like to start with the center flower and it helps me know where to put the flowers at the top and the bottom. You can follow the ideas in the brochure or you can mix and match the images and the sentiments to create your own ideas. Now that I've finished stamping, I'm going to take my snail tape adhesive and adhere this to the card base. Use the snail tape, it's got a cover, you want to make sure that's snapped back. Turn your card over, put the tip of the adhesive down and pull. and then you can stick to your card base and your card is done. I also like to dress up my envelopes with some stamping. It's a nice finishing touch. Cleaning stamps is easy and something you'll want to do once you're done stamping. Our ink is water-based so you can run it under the water or to clean the ink right off, or you can purchase our Simply Chamois on page 15 of the brochure. This is the chamois here. It only uses water and makes cleaning your stamps easy. Just simply press and turn, and it'll get your stamp clean. Then peel it back off the block. Put it back on the acetate sheet. and then it's ready for your next use in your stamp case. I hope you'll have fun creating your own Magnolia Bloom cards. 
Don't forget to check out the other products and projects that were designed for beginner stampers in the Experience Creativity brochure. Your demonstrator can help you create these projects in the brochure, and when you're ready, they can show you more coordinating products like the entire Magnolia Lane suite of our annual catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator, you can find one using our demonstrator locator on stampinup.com. Happy stamping!